Ahoy, hardcore gamers, and welcome to Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. Uh, so, this game had came out probably a few days ago. I think it's, well, by the time this I released, it's probably been out about a week. Uh, so, that's uh, going to give this a go. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a kind of like a Valheim s game, but set in the Lord of the Rings universe, where we play as a dwarf. Well, I hope we play as a dwarf. We head back into Moria uh, to try and retake uh, Moria from the goblins. Yeah, so I'm a huge, huge, huge Tolkien fan, huge Lord of the Rings fan. Uh, I've got a lot of Lord of the Rings content on the channel, which I'll probably continue to be pumping out because I enjoy Lord of the Rings. And yeah, so let's see what this game is all about. I've not played this yet. Uh, I just booted it up. And here we go. So I get to customise my dwarfy boy. Right, let's see what we got here. The beard. I've got to go for a white beard. Oh. Okay, interesting. Beard. Let's go for... That's interesting look of a, of a head. Let's go. Oh, audio took a minute there to change. I'm not too fussed about what I, how I look. Let's go for a full white. Um, go back to the composed look that I want to start off with. Skin. Yeah. Uh, eye colour. Not too fussed about eye colour. No, I'm not I'm Not too worried about these. Personality. Okay, I guess that's the way. Okay, not too fussed about these again. Doom origins, where are the origins? So Glittering Cave, this is obviously just behind, Glittering Caves is um, in the Hornburg, which is just behind Helm's Deep. Quite interesting. Iron Hills, this is obviously east of Ariabor. Uh, Dwayne Ironfoot, uh, essentially res uh, res resolves where he lives. Coastal Mountains, um, these are way southwest of uh, southeast of Middle Earth, kind of not really on the maps. Blue Mountains, Blue Mountains um, is where Foran uh, settled after the fall of, or well, Foran's folk settled after the fall of the Lonely Mountain, which is in Ered Luin, which is west of Middle Earth. Red Mountains, I think the Red Mountains were part of uh, Mordor. From the Lonely Mountain itself. No, I'm going to be from the Lonely Mountain. Uh, let's just go to save. Nah. Nah. I'm going to call myself. Rothnar. There we go. Save. Uh, let's create a world for Rothnar. Rothnar's world. World seed. Yep, let's go for this badger. Uh, let's select. Select. Play offline. Let's play. This is a co-op game. Yes, dwarves from every clan have answered your call, despite the king under the mountain's objection. Lord Gimli, Erebor will not support entering the Black Pit. If the king wants to stop us, he can come himself. Every attempt you've made has failed. This is a sign. No signs or kings are going to stop us. This is the time to reclaim Casa Doom. Today, we get into that mountain. Any luck? Nah, won't budge. Did you try speaking friend? Now, why didn't I think of that before? You did your best. On to plan B. Ah, finally. Hopefully it's plan explosives. B? Is that blasting fire? Yep. I'd stand back if I were you. This is madness. Gimli, you can't. We have to wait for Durin. Durin's not here. We have to do this ourselves. Maybe this will wake him up. Limin Barak. Limin Tagaz. Kazad Dashtin. This is another sign! Oh, hammer tongues. It's the fourth age. Nothing is going to stop us. You 
heard Lord Gimli? Let's go. Pack it in. Yes, nice and tight. Come on, help him out. One continuity issue, one issue here. They couldn't get through the door. How are they inside the mine part and they planted the explosives? They couldn't get through Joran's gate. Hey, not not nitpicking. This seems a bit weird that they managed to get through the gate without using explosives. And Gimli's voice changed twice. That was no normal dwarf blast. But just being nitpicking. Right, so feels okay. I, the reason why I'd say feels is because uh, Ark Survival evolved the Unreal Engine 5 version, or whatever the new version came out, and that is janky. Um, I tried to play it, and it did not run very well. Just like the original Ark when it came out it was not very smooth. But no, this, this feels good. Uh, well, feels okay. Um, I do have it on max graphics. And yeah, fit. So, jump in. Okay, you, so you can vault, which is quite nice. Uh, press C to craft. Uh, craft myself a torch. So for my understanding, this is a lot like uh, Valheim. I think I may have said that already. Um, just <laughs> underground. Well, okay. Let's teach you to learn more. Vault. Okay. There must be a way back to camp. Hmm. Could try the doors of Dorian from the inside. Uh, put this to get going. Let's make a pickaxe. So it's like I have to dig my way out of this place. So it's mini map, uh, top left. Apparently, I'm 220 fathoms deep. I'm not sure how you can tell how deep you fell. So you physically fell off, uh, fell down a hole. But hey. I've got an internal sat nav built in, that's quite interesting. This is something I can dig through. This. Okay, so you, there is no difference between. So if you've got a torch in your hand, you can't aim. No, no. No, you can still aim, okay. You can aim where you're digging, which is quite good. Firelight. We are not alone. Take some mushrooms. Looks like I've got mushroom in my inventory to pick up some more. I'm presuming you'll find some. How a raven get in? So tokens. What are these tokens? Let's see if I can find out what these are. Uh, to commemorate the fallen, build a memorial flame to honour the dead. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Dwarves like to honour their dead. Wooden scraps. A raven of Erebor. I don't know how big the inventory, uh, the inventory is. I'm guessing I've put up these slots up here as well. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Let's sort my inventory out a little bit here. I'm guessing I can eat these to heal. Yes, I can. So I'll put that there. Try and keep our hot bar clear. Speak to the raven. Not sure how a raven has been able to get underground here, but fine. Hello, Mr. Raven. Ah, are you from our camp? Santa winds. I am Arik, son of Arak. Yours is the only friendly face here. What happened to the rest of camp? I cannot tell. A curse, ill curse. It blocks me. Could you search for a way out? And for any other survivors? I will search. You go east, see what you can find. I will fly to you when I can. Okay, Mr. Arak. Seek the gate. So what's this journal entry? 
Okay, so it's got a quest system. Um, fine. So they highlight if I haven't read them yet, which is quite useful. To seek the gate. Arak the Raven from the camp of Gimli's company is trapped inside Moria. They will search for survivors. Uh, so essentially, I need to find a way out. It's fine. So if you look in the minimap top left, there's, there's like a arrow. Looks like there's a fellowship arrow. I'm presuming that points north. He told me to go east. That is not the way I go. This is the way I go. A bit strange. Just nitpicking. I like, I do this in most games I play, I just tend to nitpick. Nothing wrong with the games, it's just me being me. So I'm not sure if this game, at least to start off with, is randomly generated. Or whether it's all, all pre-determined. Build platforms to traverse terrain. Okay. Press C. Improvise axe. Well, I can put improvise axe would be nice. Uh, I could put you put your number one. Um, right, it's crafting. So tools. Yep, yeah, fine. All weapons. Okay. So I had to press V to build a platform. Uh, that's to rotate, change direction, change height. Place you on the floor. Okay. Must be built on a wall. Okay, fine. Now I guess I can jump up, hill climb. Now I can build another one here. And that might be too high. No. Very agile dwarf I've got here. Very agile. Uh, do I take full damage? No, looks like I didn't. So this looks like I'm loaded, about to go into another cavern. Ah, oh, wooden scraps. So, looks like there's a lot of stuff which is destructible in this game, which is good. Not sure if I actually need to. Right, that looks like it's Doors of Durin. The Doors of Durin? What is wrong with it? So, that would explain why they can't I've get in. I've never seen rooms with such shadow. No wonder we couldn't get it open from the other side. Like something or someone has put a cursed rune on the gate, but Gimli's can't open it from the outside. Evil Shadow would lose from it, blocking anyone that approaches. Could this be why there's a pile of dead orcs? Mysteries. Got an interesting little whispering as well. Metal fragments. Okay. Up his head, pick up his skulls now. Not going to destroy everything I see. Sign of the fellowship. Okay, here we go. Fellowship is here. I found a, a wee set of Shire made travel plates and forks. This has been left behind by Lord Gimli's hobbit companions while they're resting from the Watcher. Must be on the same path as Gandalf and Gimli led them. A very good omen. They made it out, so can we. Wolves, track them down. Watch their shit. We'll kill them for your boss. Not yet, fool. Orc Town needs to prepare. Orc survivors in here. Right, so there's an entry. Uh, it's Orc survivors. It was too much hope that the um, Orc to Moria marched to war and never returned. Looks like they still plague the AE mountain. They've got a place called Orc Town. I guess if Goblin Town existed, then there'll be an Orc Town. 
It's actually pretty pretty. I can say it's pretty pretty. But there's sunlight coming. Oh no, it's not sunlight, it's crystals. I can say if there's sunlight coming through, then people, dwarves can get through. I like the, the orcs have made the you know made the way at home. It's quite a nice little room. Oh, Raven's back. Raven's gonna be the death of me. The rat. Look at the Combat. That's thrilling combat. Hey, right. what have you got for me? Ah, Arik, what news? Ah, there's no way west. No way out. I did not think we would see shadow cursed runes in Moria. Our path then must go east. Long journey. You must prepare. Up here, at that old dwarven camp. You're right. It's time to find shelter before making our way further. I will scout ahead. Stay alive. Oh, that's nice. With luck, we will exit the Dimril Gate. For now, we must face the long dark of Moria. What? Long dark of Moria? I know of a survivor's no way out. Time to make shelter. First things first. Fire yeah. by rats. This guy's rapid. <laughs> okay. That rat gets to survive today. I don't know what that blue bar is. Oh, you got a dodge roll. Nice. This is essentially a souls like. I can't wait to fight Melania and get absolutely trolled. Uh, or his outpost. Let's, let's have a look inside. Rebuild the old camp. Uh, so read this. Found a parchment in an elvish hand. Balance and five of us to establish outposts in the far corners of Moria. Here we begin our search. So rebuild 19 out of 10 stone. So I've got enough stone to rebuild the hearth. Hearth complete. So here I can make some roast meat, mushroom stew and some skewers. Okay. Right. Can I clear some of this room out? Okay, no. But I could. Means destroying things. Black diamonds, coal pallets, I need coal for that. Don't know, have enough stone for the furnace. Need his key, which makes sense, don't want to just go for his belongings. Right, build menu. Memorial flame, so I need more tokens to build a memorial flame. Standing torch, wall torch. Let's get another torch in here. Right, bed roll. Need cloth scraps, bed roll. Got enough cloth scraps. Rotate you round. Uh, claim the bed roll, I'll do that in a second. So don't really want any more herbs. Table serve. So I can cook, put cooked meats on there. Wooden pallet. I think having pallets would be useful. Put you down there. Right, wooden stone. I think I can build. Yes, I can. So this is the entrance. Let's see if I can build a some form of stone door. Um, I build. No. Okay. I shall just build that for now. I think I could build probably some form of a door later on. Uh, meat table. I'll put you next to the hearth. What 
against this. So I can put my... I just picked up all the scraps I had on there. Uh, deposit. There you go. I can deposit all my stuff in there. Deposit. Um, and then was there another stone pallet? Need more stone to put onto stone pallet. I think it's quite homely now. Um, or do I need to build a furnace? So I need 12 more stone for the furnace, which I think will probably be the next mission. Let's claim the bedroll. Yeah, that should be that done. Looks like I am starving. Let's cook a meal to recover health. Uh, cook a roast meat. Don't have enough meat for that one. Let's go take out a rat. There we go. Oh, there's a goblin here. Doran's bane is gone. Oh, it's gone behind him. Oh, there's a few goblins. Combat doesn't feel too bad. Keep an eye on my health from the bottom left. It'd be nice to have a shield, to be honest. Okay, they died. Both died. Okay, so it does lock on. So if I'm swinging my axe and I'm moving towards him, I do kind of a small lunge. Instead of if I'm just stood there, I don't do a lunge at all. Saying that, come with that. You survive another day. Will this give me wood scraps? Fine. Let's see if there's anything that will give me stone. Does give me stone. So I needed uh, 12 stone. So I'll just uh, quickly grab that from these. And. Is that. Oh, I've got wooden scrap from that, not stone. Uh, how much stone do I need now? I need eight. So I need four more stone. Let's see this. Give me stone. No, won't give me stone. I harvest this. I can. This might give me stone. Hopefully the stone gives me stone. Maybe. Give me one stone. Okay, fine. Um, three more. Hopefully the banister, which I'm hitting there, the edge, will give me stone as well. Looks like there's some form of herb or something in the in the water just below me. Probably be one stone. It gave me four stone. Nice. That's all I needed. Some cranberries. Nice. Interesting. I could have just come down here and mined some stone off these. How much stone did it give me? Two. That's, that's a lot quicker than doing the ba those banisters. It's good to know. There is a path up there. There is a path up there. Okay, I'll probably explore that once I build the furnace. See if I can... If I build the furnace, I might be able to make myself a shield or some better weapons. Be nice. What is that? I see It's like a weird majestic alpaca. Ooh, wolves hit hard. Wolves hit very hard. Well, that didn't go to plan. 
die and respawn. Um, so that's how death works in this game. You, uh, you die very quickly. Let's see. Do I just pick my stuff up? Okay, cool. Okay, so it's exactly the same as kind of Valheim. Uh, you just pick your stuff up off your dead body. Um, so now I'm back here. Obviously, I can see my hunger bar in the bottom left. Uh, I can rebuild this, which I will. I didn't think I'd die this quickly on in the game, to be honest. Those wolves did hit pretty hard. But I, I could have had low health to start off with. Right, so this, I can just make iron ingots. Uh, which I've yet to find iron. Okay. So the mission wants me to cook roast meat on the hearth. Roast meat. Start cooking. Okay, so it's 40 seconds to make the roast meat. Well, that's doing its thing. Let's see if I can... Is there a way of... Repairing my gear? I click C, can I repair? I don't think so. I think I just have to make new ones, maybe. Yeah, I might have to make new ones. There might be a repair table I can use. Um, okay, it goes straight to the meal table. I can eat it from the table. So my food is, well, hunger is max, health is max. New tutorial, expand the old camp. I want me to build a storage chest. How do I build wooden chest? Got enough wooden scraps. I can put you next to my bedrock. Um, right. Find an iron vein, mine an iron vein, craft and collect iron ore. Okay. It's good that it shows me what an iron vein looks like, so I can make my life a lot easier. A couple of wolfy boys over there though. I think they were meant to howl just then, they didn't. <laughs> Okay, so blocking is instant. So it block, uh, so cancels your animation straight away. So as soon as it looks like they're doing a attack animation, you can block straight away with your block. Which is good. I found a new crafting recipe for a scout's pack. A few mobs here. Okay, that's not good. My axe and my torch just broke. Well, torch run out, axe broke. Let's run away. Uh, quickly make an axe. Uh, buh, 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 quickly make a torch. And torch there. Okay, so they, they don't know how to go through my doors just yet, which is good. Let's try and get this wolf down, the wolf is down. The durability of my axe has gone down really quickly, but it makes sense it is just an improvised axe. Alright, so that is what iron looks like apparently. With wooden scraps. See how much you get per vein. I'll start singing. Why not? Bum, bottom, bottom, bum, bum. I have my casa doom, but no, my home will reach me there. The gates will part like open arms, entrusting me with jewel prayer. Below the mountains, three and tall, lie pillared halls that stand apart. I've never beheld my hazard doom, 
But know the road I'll take by heart. Ah, oh, so if you if you aim, you just do more damage. Like you can speed up where you're mining. Um, good to know. That's a nice little sing song my guy just did. Nice and uh, raised my spirits to the world just breaking all around me. Not really sure what destroyed that. I think I am maybe over encumbered. I'm not running as fast as I was. But, but we are now back inside our little humble abode. And we'll uh, leave it there for this episode. So, this is obviously my series on the Return to Moria, uh, Lord of the Rings. Quite, it's actually quite a good game, <laughs> but so far, uh, didn't expect to die so quickly. But hey, that's uh, yes, that's just a survival game for you. Uh, so you've made it this far. Thank you much for watching. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day, and peace out.